This is a facility that was relocated in the 1950s because of flooding. The prior plant was underwater. It doesn't work well that way. And had one major update in the 1990s. Yet we knew by 2000, and that was one of the first things I had to grapple with on the commission, that this facility was done. That was difficult. This, is, as everyone's pointed out, it finished early, under budget, and it exceeds performance expectations. And that doesn't happen every day, but it happens with good leadership. And we have the right leadership team in place, uh, hired the right leadership team. You have the capability at this plant to um, manage it and optimize it and operate it efficiently towards the current limits, but then you also have the, the advantage that in the future you can crank it up and meet future limits. And I think you could be proud that this is going to give you a sustainable uh, facility for many years to come. What you've named this facility is a water, it's a, it's a resource reclamation facility, right? We used to call them wastewater plants. We used to call them sewer plants. But I think just the name of it alone is a nice um, statement especially in an area of Kansas where water is a resource and water can be scarce, not for the past two years, but uh, generally it's the dry area. And so having that recognition that you're doing the right thing, you're recovering the water, you're not just putting it back to the environment cleaner than it started, but you're making it available for all sorts of beneficial uses. It makes this whole project a green solution.